the key, the key challenge, I guess, is, is the availability of data to perfect the, the, the art and the science of artificial intelligence. And um, being at the WHO, where we are committed to 194 member states to provide them with better health, we can also encourage them to provide better data that would help into promoting uh, artificial intelligence to provide better health. So although usually getting accurate data is the main challenge, but uh, this probably is the solution in itself. And if we uh, worked on encouraging uh, countries to provide, to have policies for uh, promoting artificial intelligence at the national levels and providing accurate data to promote, to pro promote artificial intelligence at the global level, uh, I think we would be doing a favor for everyone, uh, leaving no one behind of accurate healthcare. Well, um, I think uh, uh, sometimes the security of the data uh, um, uh, worry that this data will be misused or uh, uh, used to um, in a way that will uh, affect the the the, um, the integrity of, of countries uh, is a, is a, uh, naturally a worry for all countries. But if we provided assurance that this would be used in order not to to pinpoint but in order to uh, anonymously to improve the the process of provision of healthcare service and uh, data collection in general and making better use of data i guess there is a room for for dialogue uh, that will help enriching uh, the the outcome Well, I'm impressed and uh, it's really seeing uh, people from different aspects, academia, uh, uh, donors, uh, scientists working together in order to uh, move things forward. And I think that, uh, uh, I, I hope that we would, uh, that would be a beginning of a fruitful collaboration that would lead to deliverables that can be uh, um, implemented at the level uh, at the, uh, for the headquarter, for the regions, for the countries uh, in order to have better data for better healthcare.